Well, we are in Bristol with uh, Mr. Exploring with Matty, with Ashley. Lock your mothers up. Anyway, as I'm missing the, 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 the thing in the room I'm missing, the elephant in the room is something that just looks like it probably goes down a couple of feet, that goes right down into the ground and that looks a bit crazy. So uh, we're going to go and do that. Yeah, I've got my 360 camera so I'll be able to see whilst I'm going down. I'm going to try and go down on the harness as well. So. We'll s I'm going down on the harness as well, so we are going to see what is down there, and I will be able to film everything. It'll be great. Mm. There it is. It is down there in the hole. Yes. Who's going to climb in there, folks? And um, Matt's putting his harness on because he's got to tie stuff so he, when he goes down there to clear it out to make sure it's safe. If he falls in, he's he's held in place. So he's getting his gear on. Whoops, my camera's not pointing in the right direction as per usual. But there we go. He's put, getting his gear on. So uh, yeah, we're in an undisclosed location in Bristol. We can't tell you where it is because it is di it is very dangerous, and we can't take responsibility for what happens if people try this who do not know what they're doing. Oh, I'm going on a mountain bike. Look, whoops, a daisy. Where's he going? He's going that way. <laughs> if you're a mountain biker you probably know where this is but we're not telling you so we'll catch you in a minute when the old uh, ropes are all rigged so Matt's just rigged up some rope around there some ties and if I'm sling, uh, sling okay it's called a sling learning learning things every day and if I if I know what he's gonna say is because he said he told Jordan off he said Jordan you're going down on one rope so I guess he's gonna do two so no, 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 if one no, goes no, 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 one goes you've got to back up yeah. yeah you tie it on somewhere so if this sling was the snap or the carabiner fails or my knock fails yeah then it's gonna You'd... just tug to the next point where it's tied on to so you're gonna tie it onto two points yeah, yeah. So yeah. obviously that'll be in here and then I'll back yeah. it up around this branch or something that's what I was thinking snaps, that's what I was thinking we're gonna on this, see I would, this I wouldn't normally back this up no because new new people are to it mm -hmm. it's one of them things nice fair shout so I'm guessing then you're going to go like a Y shape between these two things. So you can go down, straight down, or are you going straight yeah, over the edge. Because there's a high anchor, you're literally walking just backwards straight off. Of here. You ah, see when I do it. Right, right, right. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Don't try this at home, folks. Because you won't, you won't get it. You think you get it. Don't try it. Go and get some training. It's much easier in the long run. And don't use cheapy home nylon ropes. These are special ropes. They're specially designed for the purpose. If you try abseiling with cheap ropes, and they will snap. So. Yeah. So one snaps. Yeah. You ain't dropping too far. You're only going about an extra foot, maybe foot and a half. Yeah. But it's not going to kill you. Mm hmm. And secondly, like there's nowhere for that to rub against. So there's no concrete or nothing that's going to rub on. So I don't need to tie a rope round here with the bag going off. Yeah. yeah. So like with Jordan's rub point the other night, what he should have done is got something like this. Mm. Tied an anchor around here. Yeah. And then I, I thought we did eventually put a Lidl's bag underneath it, but... Might have, no. Lidl's bag, I reckon I'd go through real quick mm. on concrete. Mm-hmm. So anyway, there's there's his second high point. That's the first high point. As you can see, he's got lots of bits of kit. I've got one of these things called an ID Descender. Can't wait to use it, my one, but I, I'm going to get a chance to have a go on somebody else's one. So, good shit. And that's an ascender, a hand ascender. Yeah, it's going back up. Yeah, it goes one way, so you push up and then it locks and you can pull and it pushes up again. It only goes one way up the rope. As you can see, you've got to get all this shit on your harness. So you need a harness and you can put lots and lots of tools that you need around because when you're down there, it's no good being down there and you haven't got anything to get yourself out of it. It's usually good to take backups as yeah. well. It sort of fails and you're the only one down there and you've got spare spares down there, it's yeah. kind of hard to get back out. So he's putting on a descender now. Uh, that's a uh, 
Gre is that Gre it's called Gre Gregory. Gregory. Yeah, Pezzle Gregory, yeah. That's definitely been cleared. Look, there's a place you need to stand down there now. Yeah, he didn't move anything when he was down there. No, no. So that's a bit weird. Hmm. Most important though, right? Forget all your IDs and your ropes and everything, grab a pair of gloves. And a, and a, and a doobie. Otherwise... Always come equipped. Otherwise you might panic, so you know, make sure you've had, had, your, had your tablets or your, yeah, I or your beers. <laughs> or whatever, whatever floats your boat. Here he goes, folks. This is it. Dick. No, mate, I should go down a lot further. Someone's definitely been here clearing you. Really? Did you want to chalk up anything? Have they been Not pulling yet. stuff up? By the look of it, yeah. Mmm. Have they got anywhere in there? Huh? They got anywhere in there? I don't, I don't know how I'll tell you in a minute. It's going to be a dodgy one, so I've got to like, go underneath all this shit that's falling in. Yeah, I was going to say, that could fall on you. It's alright though, you've got your helmet on. Safety first. Nah, it's pretty stable. Mm. See, we could uh, rope down and you could chuck stuff and we could pull it out if, it's, uh, if it helps. Check it first and have a look and then yeah, I'll come back up and set up a couple more ropes. Hmm. Getting a mechanical version. I've, no, I've never ever um, used a proper hand assembler. Yeah. Mm. What's that button for then, Matt? I don't even know myself. That's what I was trying to figure out. Years. I didn't know if I had to press the button or not. Bro, I've had it three years. I, I, don't know I think they. Right. I think it used to lock it in the lock position and you can bring it out to unlock, but it's obviously worn out. Well, no, mm. I, I bought that brand new. And when, when I had it brand new, the button on it, I couldn't, just never done anything. It's just the really? spring. Yeah, I think it's just a freak. I don't think it locks out. It doesn't lock out. What do you mean? When you hold that button in, it doesn't lock out. Let go of it. Oh. You might imagine this. <laughs> Are you mocking me, bro? I thought like, you were supposed to be the pro, Matt. You're a specialist out <laughs> here, isn't you? Mm -hmm. No, you, you the, pull that and it so locks it, out. It's like a release and you're if always you, released. If you hold on to that button and pull it, it doesn't lock out straight away. Well, at least we know. Yeah. Mm. It doesn't okay. look but yeah, everybody else I go with use proper cabin racks, which is obviously all the bars when you feed the rope in amongst it. Yeah. It's a bit different, so I've never had anyone actually be able to tell me what that's for. Mm, mine doesn't have the button on it, so yeah. Yeah, yours is one of the newer ones I noticed. I think yours is like the 2019, 2020 model, isn't it? Mm hmm. Yeah, hasn't when you're ready, yeah. Look at him go. Firing down. Yeah. It's not locking off so much, which is good, like, yeah. Yeah, it's because he's worked out that button. <laughs> he's got it in a rhythm, like, where he was just moving. No, it's because he's worked out that button, isn't it? It's because he knows about the button. Every time he's about to lock on him now, he just pulls the button. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot easy. Easy. Yeah. Easier. But it's totally, it'd be totally different feeling and everything. Sliding down a fucking great big concrete tube. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah that's got but you already realise it's a lot that's easier. That's when you've really got to lean back into it and keep your legs on the wall. No, not yeah. necessarily. But at the same time, yeah, it makes your life a lot easier. <laughs> what I don't get is where's all the debris? Yeah, that they pulled out. Yeah. It's as if it's collapsed in more. They've thrown it away, probably yeah. thrown it out there. There's a big pile of shit down there. Matty spotted something. Right, he's going down now to uh sit down. <laughs> yeah, they're huge, isn't it? Jeez. Yeah, that's what I said, they got big asses on them, don't they? I just 
Hogs Park Sea, Hogs Park Sea Street. Yeah, I, I remember. Uh, it's backwards like mine was. There's a better tree there you could put yeah, it on, right? Well. It's a shame that quarry in Corsham was shot, isn't it? When you used to have a live sale in the, the shaft. Mm. It's actually quite easy, isn't it? Huh? Yeah. Pulling the rope through the pulley is easy. I find the hardest bit is moving the hand ascender up for me. Yeah, it's twitchy in it, the hand yeah. ascender. Once you get used to doing it quite a number of times, it becomes fluent, Natural, I yeah, suppose. Literally. He did use the two carabiners so that the thing is more naturally, the ID descender device is more naturally straight up. He's used two, but now he, now if you noticed, it was it, everything was very close to him. So when he's pulling, it was all it was all quite close. So he could only push away, pull a small smaller distance because it was all very close because he moved the distance yeah. of the uh, the carabiners up. Good though. At least he ain't ain't got to sort of bend it round that that thing. <coughs> so, yeah, just goes to show you can, as Matt was saying, you can do it with the, just a carabiner, or you can do it with the um, with a little pulley. So yeah, here you go, guys. A little mm. demonstration of uh, yeah. How we you can do it with the pulley, yeah. or small you small can just do it with the running on the end of the carabiner as a pulley. Yeah. Interesting, isn't it, Cheers folks? Of it first, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better off sticking it on yourself and just put your weight and lean back against that way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, it'll only go one way, yeah. So That's always okay. tighten up. Yep. Yeah. Off the side. Always off the side, yeah. Yep. You got a proper weight it. There you go. Okay. Right. You got your ascenders on your hook yeah, of you. I've got yours and mine on me, so you've right. got to like worry about taking it down there. Yeah, so if you literally go to that first platform where mm -hmm. that rope's like bent up on the bottom and just get yourself down there and then look down and in behind you and you'll be able to see what I was on about. Right. Who's going down first? You can go down first. Okay. I'll just come down just above you to pass you your ascender down and show you how to put it on in that after. Okay. Yeah, keep that rope off the... Uh, off the I, I, I see it, and then your hand at your side. That click was the anti-panic kick, and then if it does that, just reset it, you know the score. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, knows, it knows you're panicking, it cuts out. Yeah. Mm. You're filming me? Yeah. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> you're on my head cam as well. <laughs> Everyone got the cameras going. Yeah, the old uh, 360 is going to be a pain. But anyway, here we are. Yeah, 
it take a step down onto that next little ledge underneath. That's it. Yeah, lower yourself and just do the same again. And yeah, in a minute, try and like make yourself more vertical so you're like walking down a ladder almost. Mm -hmm. Quite easy to trigger, isn't it? Yeah, it's because you're you've not got like you're not that far off the uh, lip. Basically, when you're fully extended and got like twenty foot of rope between you and you're halfway down the rope, then it will be going quicker. Yeah, so you start to pick up the further down you go, the, the further the quicker it'll go. You're almost there. You literally, I'd say less than five foot. Step, that's it, you're on the ledge. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Mm hmm. What should yeah, I do? Go way. further? Go down there? No, no, I didn't say go down there. I say you're better off staying on that ledge, and I'll come down and give you your ascender, and you can come back up. Just there. I'll just... Okay. You'll be able to see the principle. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What, you 20 year old cave room. Just so I don't kick no fucking debris in the face. You could help. I'm off to one side anyway at the moment, so you should be alright. Yeah, I've never seen this method before with a with a pulley and using the lever action to kind of you know halve the weight. Um, interesting. I'm not going to claim to be the one that made this. It was no. Timmy, but no, it's interesting it, because it it also it does two things at once. It, it pulls your rope back up to where you're going, so you don't have to keep feeding two things at once. Yeah. Because you have to go a little bit on one and then lift the other, and a little bit on another, lift the other. If you were, if you're foot ascending, if you're using a yeah, I've got foot a foot ascender. ascender. Then you foot ascender after. goes here, mm. and your foot goes in the bottom. Same thing. Yeah. You just put a foot ascender on it. So yeah, in, like what you're going to do now is pull on this one as you're coming mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. So that should be in in neutral. Ascend. Yeah. So yeah, that should be over really. Yeah, that first, that's lock. Yeah, that first that's click lock. up here. There, I think that's a yeah, that should be your ascent, or is it? Oh, yeah, no, it is in there, yeah, of course, it is. <coughs> okay, yeah, so now you just use you're your... pulling this one in first and closing this gap up. Yeah, Once this right. gap's closed up, you let go of this one and slide this slide up. up, yeah, yeah. okay. So, both hands on this, or one hand on that, one hand on that. I show you, we do however both. you want, yeah, okay, so. You can lift this hand up to give yourself a better grip, so yep. you've got more lever. And then... Oops. In back. There he goes. So off to one side. My backups are shit. <laughs> they work, but they're not made for the job. Mm. Like I'm using a chest descender now to get out of this hole where you're using my hand descender. That's it. You just yeah, walk back up. Just make sure there's no slack when you go to step over the lip. Yeah. Now, if you imagine doing that against a smooth wall, you'd have a foot loop and one foot against the wall. Yeah. 
and just walk your way up and keep a foot on the wall to keep yourself back. Yeah. Nice and simple. There he goes. That's it once more, walk around. Well, hey, first ever bit of abseiling madness. Oh, yeah. and then <laughs> in out, shake it all about. This is where I now take this off and then fall down the hole. <laughs> yeah, it's best, best to stay, get clear first. Yeah. Pretty easy, though, isn't it? Mm hmm. I don't know if it is just easy or if it looks easy. No, it is easy, mate. But it certainly looks fucking easy. At the end of the day, that was Matt's first time coming back out of somewhere, and I've watched Diego go three foot up a tree and then get in a stress. Yeah. <sighs> You've got to be calm when you do anything like this. Getting a cuff off, or you end up getting hurt. Yeah. I've had loads of people panicking on me. They get that, oh, I can't get out of here, I can't get out of here. Diggers is the worst. They pay to call cave rescue. <laughs> he literally, he'll, he'll just sit in the bottom of the hole and sulk. Really? Yeah, he won't go anywhere, mate. If he, if he gives up, he gives up. Yeah. Right. Taking that off. Nice one. Cheers. You've used one of them before, then. I've got, I've got them. I haven't got a loop. I haven't got, I'm going to get one of those rollers. Pulleys. Yeah. Pulleys. Yeah, so that seems very useful, man. Yeah, it is. It is. Once you've got this, yeah, and a foot loop, and a grigri, mm -hmm. like you get in and out anywhere. Yeah, back. foot loop because I, th I, I figured your legs were the strongest thing to get you out, but that is interesting. Yeah, because so um, your foot and a foot loop and that, so yeah, that last lap there, mm -hmm. that would go on the bottom. Same scenario, but your foot's in there, and then you just use your foot, yeah, as the momentum. Yeah. Whereas you, when you've got the wall to walk up, obviously you can just use the wall to step up. Yeah. Even on wet slate, I walk up like 50, 40, 50, uh, 40, 50 feet like wet slate walls and that. Mm -hmm. And even though they're slippy, you can still walk up there without the foot loop. Madness. So, uh, yeah, now we're off to do some more madness, but we'll be back. We'll be back down here when it gets a little bit more um, cleared out and hopefully gives access to the mine itself. So we'll come and see it a bit later on. Cheers, folks. <laughs>